What's going on everybody? I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. In this episode, we're going to start to expand towards the west. So in the last episode, I built up the basic road grid for the central business district and a little bit around its surroundings. Uh, but today we're going to be expanding over in this corner. Um, but actually, before we do that, uh, I noticed that this roundabout, it's doing fine right now, but it, it sometimes gets pretty clogged up. And a lot of you guys have pointed out in the comments that I really should do something about this. Um, I kind of knew that way in the beginning when starting this project. I knew that I was eventually going to have to replace this roundabout. So um, I'm going to maybe... I'm not going to do that this episode, but I'm going to get you guys involved in replacing this interchange as well as this entire road section, this whole highway here. I want to replace it, maybe rebuild this interchange too. I might not do that yet, but I want to at least rebuild this stretch because of the reasons that I explained in the last episode. Uh, so my question for you guys right off the bat, since I know I'm going to be replacing this very soon, probably next episode. What should we do with this stretch of road? Um, should we go with a sunken highway going right through downtown? Or should I go with an elevated section? I'm thinking that instead of having this smooth curve, I'm going to go like kind of in the same direction as uh, like this main street right here, this main avenue. I think the highway is going to follow uh, that same route and then maybe have like a curve at some point to meet up with this interchange. So. It's gonna more or less go right through downtown. So my question for you guys is How should we go about that? Do we go elevated? Do we go sunken? Do we go with a long tunnel and maybe have like some exits and entrances plopping up all over uh, the, the stretch of road? Let me know down in the comments. I was gonna do a YouTube poll like directly on this video But YouTube unfortunately removed that feature a little while ago uh, But I am gonna be posting a poll on a separate YouTube community post so uh, go check that out because uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's to come in the next episode. And I can't actually wait to, uh, to get into that. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so let's jump right into the game here. We're just going to go right at it and start expanding in the downtown area. Um, I'm going to try to make this all these lots kind of mix you so I'm gonna mix in some high-density residential with some offices maybe some high-density commercial here and there you know just gonna try to mix things up I don't want to have like huge commercial zone and you know I want to diversify things as much as possible but uh, yeah I am I I'm loving the city so far guys Things are going super well. So, all right, we already have some buildings that are sprawling up. Maybe let's add, let's add some parks near downtown. Just to, you know, accelerate the, uh, the growth of the area. Oh yeah, that's right, and I had some plazas too, you know. We gotta place some nice plazas down. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. All right. Here, let me pause the game. I totally forgot I had the European theme enabled. Uh, crap. Well, I knew I had it on. I just totally forgot to disable uh, the European buildings. No big deal. Easy way around that is we create a, uh, a district. And I'm just going to do like a basic outline and I'll shape this a little bit better once we start moving further down uh and the name is going to change too i don't know what we're going to call this yet we'll have to go through that at one point um anyway easy trick all right so i don't want all these european buildings here i want this to be a north american city so the easiest way to do that is create a district go into your styles and just change this to vanilla and that's going to destroy all the european buildings and only include the vanilla buildings from the base game before 
you know, the European buildings were a thing. Um, and that's going to remove all the European buildings. Now, now what I could have done also is disabled the European theme altogether in the game settings. The only bad thing about that is it would have removed all the European themed buildings that I have available to me, such as like, you know, the elementary schools and whatnot, you know, all the different building sets that we have available. Um, I kind of like to have the variety. So we have like different elementary schools, different fire halls, and you know, I, I just like having a variety of different buildings that we can place down. That's why I, I like to have both themes enabled. It just requires you to have that extra step to disable European buildings. So if we go here, and actually, let me pause the game again. I just have to make sure everybody has water. I always forget that step to place down some water services. And it's like one of the most important services too. So yeah, I'm not a very good mayor sometimes. Most of the time I'm a good mayor though. All right, give this area some nice clean drinking water. And that'll probably do for now. All right, now let's run the game. So as you're gonna see, a lot of the buildings are gonna start to disappear. See, all those buildings are disappearing. And in their place, some North American themed buildings are sprawling up, which is exactly what we want. And I kind of included this part of town in the zone as well. I didn't really see any buildings disappear, so I think we're all right there. Awesome, all right, so let's continue on. There. Let's not go too crazy with the high density yet. We don't really have the demand for it at the moment. We're still we're still a small city You know, we can't go too crazy um, And look at that. We already have our first high-rise It's not really a high-rise. It's kind of mid-rise I would say But uh, there we go. All right Now um, I just want to go over the budget again. You guys gave me a few little tips on my last video uh, so First of all, the most important thing to do right now is to raise our high density taxes as well as our office taxes to 12% uh, So that's going to increase revenue without having anybody complain and then in terms of budget See, I don't know why this keeps resetting to 100% Am I doing something wrong? I don't know uh, but I just want to check something real quick if I go into my water all right, so water availability, we're doing okay. Sewage treatment, we'll have to deal with that at one point. Or what we can do is just go into our budget and then floor this all the way to 150%, which is not gonna cost us a huge amount more. Uh, but the advantage that we get out of that is, look at that, we no longer have a sewage treatment shortage. Well, we didn't really have one to begin with, but you guys see what I mean. Uh, so if we go back into our budget, we will do the same thing with power. Just max it out. Um, is there anything else we could max out? I'd say maybe, does this do anything for... Okay, I don't think that does anything for landfill. Uh, so we won't touch that right now. And let's boost up again. I don't know why this kind of unreset itself, uh, but if we boost our education, and our medical and our fire and police and all that kind of stuff budget up to 101 percent oh this is where garbage is yeah i didn't notice this icon was here the more money garbage facilities have at their disposal the more vehicles they can send out maybe i'll boost this one up just to increase the effectiveness of our garbage disposals i think that's probably a good idea uh, okay, so this will create more happiness if I increase this budget. Unique buildings, we don't have any yet. What about roads? What does this do? Adjust the budget to decide how many vehicles road maintenance and snow dump services have at their disposal. Um, I don't really need to touch that. I think that only in, um, like the, uh, 
the road maintenance, I think that increases the speed limit or something of the streets by like five or something. Um, so we're not going to do anything with that. So in terms of public transportation, we have none. So not worth uh, playing with that right yet. So there we go. Now I have every now I have everything set the way I want it. Hopefully this doesn't reset itself to 100%. I don't know why, but every time I start the game up, it seems to reset itself. Maybe it's just me. Uh, but anyways, so now we're good. Oh yeah, did I do power as well? Yeah, I did power. Okay. So yeah, it is costing us a little bit more, but at least we're getting a ton of benefits out of it. And for now, I'm just going to place down some low density residential. And as the downtown area expands, we'll convert all of this into high density. And as far as the waterfront goes, uh, I'm going to try to make this a, a nice kind of park area, a, a nice park belt that goes all across downtown with trails and little parks and maybe some luxury condos and stuff. I was initially going to make this like a fishing part of town, but I think I might move that over here because it's kind of like a an isolated bay. I feel like the water would be kind of calm in this little basin and it would be an appropriate place for some fishing equipment or some fishing buildings. And eventually, like right now we have this district. Um, this is not the final shape of it. I'm, I'm going to like maybe resize it and reconfigure this, but I'd like the entire map to be covered with these districts just for distinction between different areas. And eventually we might get into like some green city assets and an IT cluster and all those different kind of things. So zones are going to be much more prevalent uh, as the series progresses. So let's keep expanding a little bit on our grid pattern. Something like that. Oh yeah, and if we talk about the highway again, um, so since the highway is probably gonna come through here, we're gonna have to decide how we're gonna go about interchanges. So there's probably gonna be an interchange that intersects with this road just cause it's a high capacity road. Maybe another one with this road and then we'll see where, how things go a little bit down the line. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to decide how we're gonna link this up to the rest of the city. And I'm gonna let you guys have a say in how this goes. Uh, so are we going sunken or not sunken, basically? Yeah, why not? Let's just have a massive commercial zone, more offices more residential and I'm gonna make an effort to to not make this entire area just a boatload of skyscrapers I want the the city to have a distinctive skyline so in order to do that I may as skyscrapers start sprawling up, I may destroy some surrounding buildings and then replace them with low density just to create a distinctive skyline, just to make the city look nicer. And uh, it may reduce congestion too, so we don't have too much high density in, uh, in a very small area, creating you know traffic problems and whatnot. Maybe spread that out a bit. 
but holy crap, our commercial demand is just... It's staying pinned. People want to go shopping. Okay, um, yeah, I was thinking of this a little earlier. I'm probably gonna place a hospital here. This will be our, our first true high-rise in the city. And where should I place this building? Maybe I'll place it right here. It doesn't really impact. We have kind of a little bit of wasted space, or maybe over here. There, here's good. We'll use up a little bit of that wasted space. Oh my god, holy crap, we are in a gridlock situation right here. This is not good. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, I, okay, I knew that was the problem. No despawning was on. There. <laughs> so that's going to fix a little bit of our traffic issue. Um, but at the same time, not really, because just look at what's happening here. But let me check something. Okay, my merges are all still there. So people are just not really following the rules very well. What can we do about that? If there's anything we can do at all, because, I mean, this, this roundabout is kind of a lost cause, honestly. Um, there's not a whole lot of improvements that we can do short term that will improve this I mean we're, we're better off just ripping it out so I think for sure guys uh, we're gonna be ripping this out next episode and building it with a proper interchange which might be easier said than done just because we have like a triple main Avenue set up here it might be a little bit of a challenge uh, but we'll try to create something unique that looks good and uh, that functions as well of course the functionality of it is very important um, Maybe, actually, can we do, um, maybe if we, like, whatever this is called, I'm not sure what the term is for this, but it, it kind of allows vehicles in an intersection, or, okay, shoot, okay, no, never mind, no, this is what I'd have to disable, yeah, so this is what allows vehicles in an interchange, or inside of an intersection, so we'll remove this. I think what this does is just allows cars to change lanes within an intersection. I mean, I guess we can allow that. Um, yeah. There, is that gonna fix anything? I'm thinking it will. Because now vehicles are not like piled up inside of an interchange. We can maybe enable that here and enable that setting here as well just to prevent like a huge pile up from happening. It'll give the vehicles a little bit extra room to pile up. But yeah. I mean, no matter what we do, this thing's a lost cause, so I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. That was just a quick fix. Okay, so how are we doing death care? Okay, we have plenty of capacity. Usage is very low. We're doing all right. As long as we have hospitals to keep people alive, as long as possible, we're all set. Now let's see, I'm curious, what do we have for unique buildings? I mean, right now we have a ton of plazas. We have transport tower. The transport tower is a large office building, especially meant for public transportation companies requirement building the space elevator. Okay. We can maybe place one of these buildings down. It would kind of get our iconic skyline started. 
And we have all of these buildings already too. Oh, but these are very expensive. I don't know, we might wanna wait on that. But at least, this one's not too bad, 60,000 for the transport tower. Let's place this building in uh, like smack dab in the central business district, which I'm thinking will probably be kind of in this zone. Why not right there? It looks kind of weird right now. Tallest building in the town, but it'll look cool in the near future. Oh my god, are we experiencing a death wave? Well, maybe a small one. Oh my god, how crazy is that? Oh jeez, I gotta expand. I gotta envelop this whole area too before European buildings start spawning. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of surprised that our commercial demand is just keeping steady at like full pin All right, so this episode will be completely focused on just general expansion I'm not gonna get into anything specific I'm not going to uh, start any big projects or anything like that, but next episode, we're going to redesign this whole road network. It's going to be awesome. And I actually can't wait for your guys' responses. I'm curious to see what everybody's going to say. If we go above ground or below ground, what the whole situation is going to be. So we're hovering about at 8,500 people. There's going to be a point very soon where we're going to want to dabble with some public transportation, you know, because as the city grows, our traffic is going to become an issue more and more. So we're going to have to be very conscious on our public transportation infrastructure. And the first thing that I think we should get into is a bus network. You know, we, we're already uh, unlocking a ton of public transportation buildings and things. You know, we're really going to want to play around with that, take advantage of all that. Um, maybe we can go ahead and start laying out what we want that to uh, to look like. So I'm thinking in terms of trains, all right? So I already mentioned that we don't have access to rail right now inside of this circle. Uh, but I can maybe get myself set up for a rail station. Because we do, do we even have, oh, okay, we don't have train, anything train related unlocked. We unlocked that in less than a thousand people at this point. So this is going to be awesome because I'm feeling like there should be a massive train station in around this area, right smack dab in the middle of town. I'd like for it to be a terminus uh, train station as well. So all the rail would come from the west. Uh, probably this rail line here would be like the main passenger line coming into town. But I think we're going to place down a terminus station around here. And in terms of a bus network, we can maybe get started on that before the end of this episode and at least maybe make a bus line between you know, a couple of areas here and then we can modify this as the city grows. So what do we have? We're gonna need a bus depot, first of all, for uh, spawning buses. Uh, but let's choose an area first for our bus station. So this is a pretty massive building. Uh, actually, I think, I think right here is probably a suitable spot. Yeah, that's probably a good spot. And then right near it... Oh, there's just not enough room, but no big deal. And then right near the bus depot, or the bus station, we'll have a bus depot. Holy crap, how expensive was that? 
Oh, that was 65,000. Okay. Inner city bus station. This bus station is, uses coaches for people to travel to and from the city. Bus station requires highway connection. Blah, 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 blah. Inner city bus station doesn't require an inner city bus lines or stops, but allows the placement of a regular bus stop on the bays. Oh, okay. That's neat. It's not that expensive either. Uh, but we are running a little low on cash, so I'm not going to place one of those down right yet. Let's start with a bus line. And I'm just going to create something simple for now, just to maybe alleviate a little bit of the traffic coming through the roundabout. Let's maybe have a bus kind of hopping its way through downtown like this. Maybe adding a stop every couple of blocks or something. And then let's have it going through here. And then let's have the bus going around this neighborhood. Or actually right through it, how about that? So we can just get as many people as possible. Now, I'm far from a public transportation expert in City Skyline, so as I've explained before in a couple of my videos, I've only ever really um, experienced with the aesthetic side of the game. So I'm used to literally just, well, you guys have probably seen some of my older videos where I just play the game in a, uh, and most of my videos are presented in a time-lapse fashion where I'm manually plopping down every building. So I never really got the gist of creating super, oh, what the heck is going on here? Oh well, I'll leave it like that. Um, so yeah, I've never really got the experience of creating functional cities. So I, I, I may struggle a little bit on that end, but thankfully you guys are there helping me out along the way. So we got our first bus line here. Let me know how I did. Let me know if this is okay. I think it's fine for now because the city is not really huge. Um, but I'm no expert on how public transportation works inside of cities. So once we get like this entire island going and, and we have a large city where we're going to start to create multiple bus lines and whatnot, uh, I'm going to get you guys to chime in and, and you know, Give me tips on how to go about that. So where I would like to get in this episode, what do we even unlock at the uh, small city status? Okay, yeah, we unlock a ton of train stuff. I'm actually surprised that we get the multi-platform station right off the bat. Wow. I would have assumed that we would have started off with a small station and worked our way up. Uh, but anyways, let's just get to 9,500 people, and uh, we'll end the episode after that. I just want to get to the next milestone. It kind of creates like a checkpoint. <gasps> Uh-oh. Are we heading to power crisis? Oh, crap. We're in a power crisis. Not because we're out of power, per se. Our power plant just has no fuel. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we might have to start getting some oil production in here pretty soon. Um, I mean, we can export oil from the outside, but I'm thinking it's probably uh, because of this roundabout here that the oil can't make its way to the city. So what do we do about that? Because our budget's already maxed out. Hmm. I suppose we have to take emergency measures right now. And place 40 megawatts versus 120. I'm gonna go ahead and place a coal power plant for now. On the edge of town. So that'll at least take us back into the green, just barely into the green. But everybody has power and uh, at least it buys us a little bit of time before we're able to fix that issue. Because I'm not really, it's worth nothing to place down another oil power plant because we have no oil getting to the city uh, because of the traffic situation. Look at all the trucks that are disappearing. This is not good. Maybe I should just play with despawning off. Because, yeah, I'm not sure, like, my interchange... 
I'm not even sure if my intersection thing, little fix that I did helped any. I mean, it's just as busy as it always was, so yeah, not good. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, guys, for this episode. We're just about, just under 9,500 people, and we'll continue on with the next episode. I'm just having so much fun now. Brings me back to the good old days, you know, before there were mods and whatnot. Look at that, everything is being upgraded. Town's going awesome. Okay, there we have it. So, um, we have some new policies, new services, but what I'm most excited about is the public transportation options that we have. Unfortunately, we didn't unlock a new square this city. I believe there's one coming up in the big city status, so we need 15,000 people to get there. Uh, but yeah, awesome. So, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to let me know what we should do for this stretch of road. You can either leave a comment on this video, or I will be posting a poll on my community section. So, uh, you'll have the option. Well, you have a couple of options there. Uh, but leave a comment either on this video or on the poll on, uh, on some details on how we should proceed with this. So that's going to be it for now, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I release more videos just like this one. So that's it. Until the next episode, take care, everyone.